where we start is uh, we look, we just look for really good pictures. And we look for pictures to pin various spots on the wall. Well, I do. I think other hangers maybe do it in a slightly different way. But I'm looking for pictures that, that excite me because it's my year to be a hanger. And, uh, and I also look for pictures that will read from a great distance on the enfilade. So, for instance, the Bert Irving can be seen four rooms away, as can the Kiefer, and, uh, and various things like that. And then I start to get key pictures. And of course, the main spots in Gallery 3 in the middle of each of the three walls, I want something of huge impact. And so I'm looking for that, and then I start to build around that. It's important, really, to find those key pictures and get them in place and maybe put them on the wall that can always come down and change around. I, th I found five such pictures for the rooms I was doing. Two of them I changed around uh, after about four days. But then the initial two or three days are absolute chaos because you think, am I ever going to make sense of this? and then gradually you start to settle into it and you put other pictures there and then you find spaces and you think four drawings will be beautiful in there, I've got four drawings. And you start to make decisions like that and gradually it starts to build up. And then after about five days you're feeling more comfortable. But there is a time I think in every hang that I've ever done and I've probably hung for about probably 12 or 14 times there's always a time when you think you can't possibly make any sense of it, <laughs> you know. <laughs> and, uh, but then you generally do. And, uh, and then it becomes really beautiful just making slight adjustments. So the juxtaposition as they're going through in front of you when you're doing the uh, initial selection is a completely random thing. And I think that you can, two pictures side by side, can cancel each other out and two can enhance each other. Of course, you try when they, you're putting them on the wall to, to enhance it, the next picture. Uh, so it is a different thing. And once they're on the wall, they take on a new body because they have a kind of authority once they're flat on the wall. I find myself looking down at a pattern of a wall from a high ladder, looking down on the floor and seeing how things... But it's still, there's still no substitute for that being put up on the wall. The wall is a, 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 a pattern as well. In fact, the space so that your eye can actually get between the pictures is somehow, for me anyway, as important as the pictures. And sometimes you get a space uh, like, the, like this totem here, where you think there's a space there. Uh, the way to do it is to, is to get some small pictures that really relate to each other and, and fill that space in like that. You know, because otherwise you're fighting this group and you're fighting that group. And so you get just these uh, kind of uh, little inklings. But the Palladino, for instance, I love that Palladino, and I just thought, well, it's a, and it's a lovely, it's a tondo, it's, it's a beautiful circle right in the middle of that end wall. And, uh, and then above it, I thought, where am I going to hang these three big drawings of the Arctic by our new member, Emma Stibben? and they float up there very beautifully in this gallery. And of course, when you look at this gallery, it was designed so that the, the entire walls are flooded with beautiful light. It's the most extraordinary gallery in terms of its design. Probably the most beautiful gallery for hanging paintings in Europe, really. You can hang something high, and it will read, and it will have possibly slightly better light than anything on the line. And so something as broad as, as Gillian Ayres can, can be hung high in this gallery. Maybe not as well in some of the others that don't have the light that this gallery has. So um, it gives you amazing freedom to hang uh, large reading pictures high. I've never hung Gallery 3 before because I've usually been hanging the print rooms. But I think that uh, it's been a great privilege to hang these galleries, Galleries 3 and 4 and have some great pictures to put on the wall.